Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I'm going to break my own rules because so far we have only reviewed 118 scale model cars on this channel. Unexpectedly, I'm going to review two 143 scale cars of a very famous driver from the Netherlands. That Dutch driver is in the eyes of Franz Tost good enough to be in Formula 1. Well, I'm gonna read you a quote and you will understand just why. He was definitely good enough for Formula 1. He is a really fast driver. He won the Formula 1 Nippon Championship and before that the Japanese Formula 3 Championship. And if I'm not mistaken, he also won the Marlboro Masters at Sanford with Toyota. He had it in him but didn't make it. We simply couldn't get the money together. His name is Tom Coronel. You heard that absolutely right. These are two motor cars that came in unexpectedly from Tom Coronel. Apart from almost making it into Formula 1, he has a lot more experience than that being in the car rally, Formula 3, Fiat GT and the 24 hours of Le Mans. And of course, what he drives now, the WTCR. And that's a nice bridge of what's in this package because I already opened it, like I said before. First of all, we have a little card in here. So this card is basically autographed and on the back we have what I believe is his 2022 RS3 LMS because he raced with number 33. So yeah, nice little card with that as well, but we're going to put it off to the side. So let's get it out of its box, shall we? We don't need a box. So let's begin with the first one. That is his Audi RS3 LMS from 2021 in the specially camouflage livery which basically was a launch delivery for the uh, first three races, if I'm correct. Before we're going to take a closer look, it's autographed as well. Do you see that? That baby is autographed. I don't know if you can see it that well on camera, but... And he actually was kind enough to autograph them both. Both autographed. Can't get any better than that, guys. But let's begin in chronicle order. And that's the Audi RS3 LMS from the Nürburgring in a special camouflage livery. Uh, this whole setup in this box, I kind of like it. And I have to say it stores much easier than 118 scales. I don't know if this is like a criminal thing I'm about to do, but I'm going to get it out of its case and we're going to have a closer look. Oh, there we go. Pretty, pretty heavy for such a small car actually. It does actually have a full on interior as well. Wow, that's actually pretty amazing for such a small scale. I'm not really sure if, if you purchase this product, you get an autograph as well. I don't know if it's for especially for me. I would like to think so, but... Uh, so let's read the spec sheet of this real-life counterpart. It's a 2.0 4 liter engine producing 340 horsepower at 6,250 RPM. It's front-wheel drive, 6-speed sequential with pedal shifters, torque up to 420 newton meters, has a dry weight of 1115 kilograms, has a fuel capacity of 100 liters, does 0 to 100 in a respectable 4.5 seconds. Let's adapt our format a little bit and take a closer look at the front of the car and work our way back. Front grille looking really nice as well. I believe we even have a little pull tab there. Audi logo looking really nice. And on the splitter is actually his new slogan which is not eat my dust but it's rather eat my cheese. So yeah, all the vents looking really nice as well. All the little mash patterns too. The main sponsor of this car is obviously DHL with the main color scheme. Right, at the fenders we have a Eru Prestige, which is basically a cheese bread in the Netherlands. Talking about that brand, he also has a very significant yellow cheese helmet, which is also sponsored by that brand. Wheels are looking amazing for 142 scale. Spokes looking really nice. You even see the brake disc behind the uh, rims actually, which is actually really nice for this small scale. Right, side of the car looking really interesting. It's pretty clustered, but not in a bad way actually. It kind of looks nice with this camouflage pattern. And this thing actually has a full on interior as well. We have this very interesting Formula One like steering wheel, but again, paddle shifters on the back. Uh, Sunstrip, we have uh, the WTCR logo. A gloss, we have his name, Coronel, with race number 32. The skirts look pretty amazing for this scale actually. Really sharp and pointy, looking really nice. On the rooftop we have some antennas as well. And I'm not even going to touch them because I know they're going to be pretty fragile. Once again, all the way down to the rear bumper we have Eat My Cheese once again. Once again, beautiful aggressive tail lights, looking really nice. A lot of sponsor placements. I believe with the real life counterpart of this car, there's a white pattern you see on the back. It's basically, once again, Eat My Cheese, but replicated a lot in this pattern. Alright, so this also comes on a really nice 
little plaque as well and that basically reads 2021 via WTCR race of Germany trophy winner Nürburgring Nordschleife Audi RS3 LMS and at the side we basically have number 296 of 300 and that's basically hand numbered as well really nice touch usually i do it right in front but uh, i have to talk about the sleeve as well so sleeve is looking really interesting and that basically says at the left upper corner tom coronel and the right upper corner we have the wtcr logo this side we basically have a nice little action shot of his rs3 lms and basically tom coronel with a trophy in his hand as well that is car number one and we're going to move to car number two really i believe the original idea was to use this for the first three races and after three races they move to this livery at least that was the idea so once again this sleeve is looking a little bit more simple left upper corner tom coronel and this time we don't see a banner that it's a limited edition pretty much the same at the rear we have a different kind of shot which once again the car and tom coronel holding two trophies again right so let's take a closer look at this so let's slide it right out and basically the main changes of this livery is that there is no camouflage pattern at the front at the grill section there's a lot more yellow involved and once again on the splitter we have eat my dust slash cheese so once again audi sport tricor and dhl logos on top the most predominant factor on this side is just the dhl logo instead of the whole camouflage pattern what's also new with this model is above the skirt we have a red little banner that says fibo four brands and erection <laughs> whatever that may be although i have to say i think i don't know if this lighting fools me but i think the black on the camouflage car is actually matte slash satin and i think this black is actually glossy talking about detail what's also a little bit different about on this car is this car basically has two antennas on top and this car basically has one just straight in the middle once again the back on the normal car is a lot more simple and basically the goodyear logos have moved from the rear bumper to the side of the rear bumper so yeah the whole rear of the car doesn't have this pattern it had on the camouflage car what i didn't mention the previous time is actually this exhaust <laughs> underneath there is so cool and this car actually comes on a nice little white base as well it's also numbered it's numbered 295 out of 300 and this plaque basically reads 2021 via wtcr race of spain p3 motorland aragon spain audi rs3 lms that track is amazing it's an amazing location in spain it's right between madrid and barcelona and i believe it was 5.3 kilometers long it's just 10 laps full of pleasure it's a really amazing track to race at i have to say thank you very much for sending me these i'm really honored to get your autograph as well that's really amazing look at that i always talk about formula one maybe some gt racing but there's so many good racing classes out there which the main media doesn't really follow and WTCR is actually one of them. If you want to expand your collection and just Formula One model cars and you want something really unique, I highly suggest you check out these two little model cars in 143 scale. I think he sells these on his own website. I will have a look and when editing this video, I'll make sure to put a link down in the description as well. I know for sure that this thing, this little card will be in there, but I'm not really sure if you can get them autograph just like i did uh, genuinely surprised so thank you very much for sending this one out to me and i can't wait to see more of uh, the hero driver in the netherlands tom coronel i don't know there's something about these cars which i just like so much they're very accessible to the public as well well they're pretty expensive at 140,000 euros but nonetheless it's more accessible than a formula one car take this for spin at zandford perhaps you know that would be nice uh, but who knows maybe one day you know but yeah um so today's video is a bit more unique than the other ones but you know i don't only want to do famous things i also want to give some exposure to some underrated racing classes like the wtcr uh, make sure you check out the links in the description where you can purchase these two model cars so big thank you to tom coronel for actually sending this one out to me uh consider liking and subscribing by the way before i forget uh keeps you motivated to make more awesome stuff for you guys so yeah thank you very much and uh see you in the next one